So in general we have studied that metals lose electron and form a cation while a non metal gain electrons and form a anion. Here are some of the non metals you can see that is carbon, diamond, phosphorus, sulfur, antimony, silicon, germanium, boron, arsenic etc. Now you know that metals have electropositive character. What is electropositivity? The tendency of an atom to lose electrons and form positive ion. So metal will lose its electron from the outermost shell and become positive ions that are cation is called as electropositivity or metallic character. A more electropositive element has more metallic character. For example, sodium. Sodium has one electron in its outermost shell. It will remove one electron from its outermost shell and become positive ion. Calcium has two electrons in its outermost shell. Calcium will lose two electrons with the release of two electrons. Aluminium has three electrons in its valence shell and, and aluminium releases three electrons. So the elements having lower ionization energy have higher tendency to lose ele electrons. It means the outermost shell electrons need less energy to remove from the nucleus. The nucleus and the outermost shell have a little hold over it. So electrons from the outermost shell can be easily removed. The ionization energy is that energy which is the minimum energy required to remove the outermost electron from the outermost shell. So the elements having low value of ionization energies are the metals. Alkali metals are the most highly electropositive elements. It means that they have lower ionization energy. Whereas elements having high values of ionization energies are non-metals. The borderline elements behave as metalloid. Non-metals have the ability to accept electron in their valence shell. You have already studied that non-metals gain electron to form negatively charged particles. For example, chlorine gains electron from the calcium. You have already studied the example of calcium chloride in which calcium loses its two electron and two chlorine atoms receive each electron from the calcium atom. It means that one chlorine atom will gain one electron and the second chlorine atom will gain another electron. The chlorine has seven electrons in its outermost shell and to complete its octet, it, it needs one electron. So that one electron deficiency is overcome with the help of calcium. So what is ionization energy? Ionization energy is the minimum amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron. It means that the electron present in the outermost shell can be easily removed and delocalized. Electropositive nature of the metals. Variation of metallic character across a period. The metallic character decreases across a period from left to right. On the other hand, non-metallic character increases with increase in atomic number across a period. So the metallic character across the period decreases and non-metallic character increases. For example, in second period, you can see that the elements present are lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and the neon. As you know that lithium and beryllium are metals, so it contains metallic character. Boron is not a metal, it is a metalloid. And you have studied that carbon is not a metal, it is a non-metal. Nitrogen is also not a metal, it's a non-metal. So carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon are the non-metals. So non-metallic character increases in the period and the metallic character decreases across a period. Similarly, in third period, you can see the elements sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon. Sodium, magnesium, aluminium, you know that they have the ability to lose electrons so they are metals. Silicon is a metalloid while phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon I have told you in a picture that these are non-metals. They, they have the ability to gain electron. I have given the example of chlorine. 
that it gains electrons from calcium so in the third period sodium magnesium aluminum are metals silicon is a metalloid while phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon are non metals now along a group the metallic character increases and the non metallic character decreases i'm talking about group now across a group the metallic character increases while the non metallic character decreases for example in group 4 you can see that carbon is a non metal silicon and germanium is a metalloid while tin and lead are metals so down the group the metallic character is increasing in group 5 nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth in which nitrogen and phosphorus are non metals arsenic and antimony are metalloids while the bismuth is metals so presence of metals at the bottom represent that group contains metallic character metals usually lose electrons while the non metals gain electrons thank you so much